Yo, what is going on guys? Michael here from MP Fitness. Thank you for checking out the newest video to the channel today. We're talking my three favorite back movements to grow that thick, wide, sexy back. We're gonna break down the three movements, how you do them, intensity, volume, form, all that fun stuff. Give you guys as much detailed information as possible. So like always, the supplements we're using for this video are gonna be right up here. You can click the link so you can see the entire supplement review. So I appreciate all you guys checking out this channel. Let's go ahead, dive right into this video right now. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while I can see the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. All right, guys, movement number one today. This is probably my favorite back movement of all time. We have rack pulls. Rack pulls are gonna work on that almost entire posterior chain, working on the thickness of our back, our traps, all the way down from top to bottom. This one gives your muscles a little bit more detail, give you that fuller look. A lot of guys do deadlifts. For me, personally, there's so much risk in doing deadlifts. I love doing rack pulls, there's less likely, there's a less likely chance of getting injured. So for me, rack pulls are the way to go. With this movement, we're going a little bit more power. We're gonna go three sets of six to eight, try to build at each set, see what we got. So, all right, let's go ahead, keep it going. Nobody hit me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my machine. I've been really getting feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted and be raised so in the raincoat. Hit the waves quota, I'll be flossing. All right, so to break down this movement right here, we're gonna focus on a couple parts. First, feet, knees, hand, hand placement, shoulders, where we're keeping everything nice and tight, where we're trying to feel the squeeze at. So right here, we're gonna dive down, show you guys where we're actually gonna be placing our hands and our feet. So I use straps because, you know, why not? Feet are gonna be right inside shoulder width. I'm gonna try to grab the bar. A little bit right outside my feet. Make sure those straps are nice and tight. Pull it nice and tight. Feet are nice, nice and set. Knees, shoot those knees out a little bit. It's gonna take pressure off that low back. All right, and then what I like to do next is kind of rotate my shoulders. Rotate my shoulders down and back. Keep my head nice in alignment. Also, when I pull, notice I'm not pulling like this. I'm trying to keep my back as flat and as neutral as possible. So a big difference, what I see is the guys pulling like this, and then actually pulling, engaging those traps, rotate back, squeeze, pull, boom. Nice and tall, not going back too far because that's just gonna kill the low back. Stand up tall, nice and straight. Nice and control down. I call it a reset, so boom. Go back to where we just did. Boom, keep those traps nice and tight. Head up, back straight. Stand up straight. Get those traps engaged and resist going down. So that's one of my all-time favorite compound movements. Don't go a lot of volume on this. Do a little bit more intensity. So six to eight reps. It's movement number two. We got the prime chest supported rows. So this guy right here, man, you get a crazy good squeeze. We could do either lat focus, upper back trap focus. For this one today, we're doing a little bit more upper back focus. So I'm gonna take you guys in here, show you guys what we're actually gonna get. But for form, we're gonna, remember, keep that chest nice and high. You wanna make sure you're squeezing with those traps. You wanna lengthen, keep that chest always high, but you don't want it to be where you're leaning too much back and forth. They're gonna lose a little bit of a contraction with that. So keep the chest nice and high. Keep your chest pinned up against the pad. If it's too heavy, you tend to want to lean back, sway a little bit. We're gonna avoid that. For this guy right here, we're gonna go three sets of eight to 15. Let's go get it. He locked in, was lost here. All that turned me to a target. They be cutting on me, I be cautious. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson, I'm the man now, I got fans now, I'm on cam now, I got plans now, I'm finna branch out, grew up quick, but never let go this year, I put all of that in my rip, hey, blue tin papers, blowing vapors, sweating traders, long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it, used to play to play, now I think we major now, she wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down, hold it down for me, say you down for me, say you Say, hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me. Hold it down for me. Say, say, hold it all the way down. Say, down for me. Hold it down for me. Say, say, hold it all the way down. Movement number three. 
We got medium grip lat pull downs. For me, medium grip is what gets those lats flaring. I've said it in other videos, but a lot of guys, they think to get wider lats, they gotta go wider grip. Wider grip's gonna hit a little bit more of the upper back. That medium grip is what's really going to hit those lower lats, which gives you that wider, fuller look, the 70, 40, 747 wings. So we're gonna dive into that guy right now. We got three sets, 10 to 15, focusing on the squeeze, keeping that chest nice and high, arching that back a little bit. Let's see what we got. I really got like a sin me. Saw so trip, I got the recipe. And you can find me where that pressure be. Elevation, I've been levitated in the preparation. I've been meditated, I've been hella patient. I'm so tired of waiting. I got right here with my day. From where that crevice be. I've been solid since the less of me. I hear with the sea, really in the field. I'm really on cam now. I got plants now. I'm finna branch out. Grow quick, but never let go of this here. I put all of that in my rip. Hey. All the movements that you need to hit to give that full wide back, absolutely love it. I use these three, not every back workout, but they're three of my favorite staples. I'll have these in some kind of split no matter what kind of workouts I'm doing. I appreciate all the support. Like always, for the pre-workout, gonna pop that guy over here. We drop pre-workout reviews on my supplement review channel every single Monday. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to that channel. Somewhere in the description is gonna be that. If you guys are looking for any kind of pre-workouts, that's gonna be the database you wanna hit. I appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe, hit that bell, get notified. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time.